I just got back from a ride and I gotta put away the Geo Orbit wheel and charge it up. A lot of people have been asking how the wheel's been holding up the past year. I pretty much had it for about four seasons. I've ridden it all year long. So before I put it away, let's go through what's been going on this past year. This is the bag that it comes in. It comes with a bag, a charger, and the wheel. This bag's pretty thick. It's made pretty heavy like a really good backpack or something. It zips open at the top. It even has a zip semi-deep pocket for tools and things. And then you got the wheel, and this is the wheel. I haven't even washed it or anything this past year. I've kept it locked up in the garage, basement, no issues. I've had nothing with wiring, no loose parts, anything. It's pretty scary. I'm, I'm not saying I'm rough with things, but if there's one person to test stuff out, that's me. All the parts that I use when I take it apart every day, so far nothing. This is the throttle. So I've used it on two different bikes. I have a trike bicycle, a Schwinn Meridian, and we also have a regular bicycle. I use them on both. They work fine. I didn't know how well it would work on a trike. It fits fine and it works works great. It goes a little slower because you're pulling a little more weight. It is also very easy to use and install. All you have to do is remove your existing wheel and attach your front brake. Put this wheel on, slides in real easy, and then you tighten it down. And then it has these rubber straps that you put on either side to secure it. because it has a lot of torque when you accelerate. And then this is the throttle. It's always connected to the wheel. Just install the throttle on the handlebar and just put it where it's comfortable for your thumb. You got your battery. It's really easy to slide in. If it's on the track right, it just slides in really well. Just push it down hard. And then on the throttle, it has a three light indicator when it's on. You can turn it on and off with the key. If you're gonna lock it up on the bike rack, you can take the key with you. Or if you're nearby, they got a gray button on the throttle. And when you push it, it turns it on and off. So I had the Geo Orbital wheel for about a year now. Always the first question, can you pedal when it doesn't have power? Yes, you can pedal when it doesn't have power. But no, it does not feel like a normal bike. There's tension on the wheel when it's on. If desperate times, you can pedal with it. But if, when you run out of power, you're really not gonna wanna pedal. You I can go about a couple blocks. But with power, it is great. It is fast. Like I said, I have the trike, which is a three-wheeler, has more weight and has more tension to pull from the bike itself. And we have a regular bike. I've used them on both. I would say on the trike itself, it goes anywhere from 10 to 12 miles, and I can go about eh, 10, 15 miles an hour on it. But on a regular bike, it's not, it feels super fast. And it goes about for what they quote for. I can get about 20, 23 miles out of it, and I go around 20 to 25 miles an hour. But I'll show a comparison of the two, the trike and a regular bike from start up side by side. The regular bike with two wheels just takes off. The one with the trike, it's a little slow to start, but then again, like I said, I didn't get the trike for speed. I got it more for convenience. Ever since I got the Geo Orbital wheel, I ride the bike at least twice a day. Usually if I didn't have this wheel, I ride the bike maybe twice a week but I use this now even to run errands I've taken it to the grocery store we got a little kid trailer for our daughter that I pull behind it on the trike so it's like double the tension besides me with the geo orbital wheel and we do errands we do grocery shopping I put them on the bike as well and I still get about 10 to 12 miles on it with all that payload it's a lot of payload for this but this is a very strong very sturdy design in my opinion like I said I, I do take care of it but I don't do any maintenance to this thing I haven't washed it I haven't tightened any of the screws I have not needed to and it's not that I don't move it I change it from a bike at least once a day zero issues I got it in November 2016 I was so hype on it that I used it in the cold 30 degree weather I used it at night 2 in the morning when it's freezing cold when spring came I was using it in the water you can see there's even dirt on this thing all summer long the heat cold moisture nothing zero problems before this even came out I think I followed this company for like a year when they were advertising this wheel and I just really liked the way the company presented themselves they looked like they really cared about the product when they're shipping it or even when we had questions or problems they are just right on top of everything thanks again for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell for the notifications any videos or any products you want to see me review or do inbox me or leave comments down below and i'll see you tomorrow on the next video thanks